Hi, I'm Phyllis and my website is southernfrugal.com. This afternoon I'm going to fix some smoothies to freeze enough for four days. And uh, I want to show you the greens we're going to use this, this afternoon are arugula and baby spinach. And what I do, let me turn this down so y'all can see. So I, even though these are washed and ready to go, I still like to wash them again or rinse them again. So what I do is go ahead and put them in my uh, Vitamix container and then I, I actually rinse them about three different times. There's the arugula. So it's arugula and it's actually baby arugula and baby spinach. And uh, I just feel better rinsing them again even though they're already pre-washed. So this is going to make 64 ounces or actually a little more. Now I'm going to remove the labels from this container and save the container. Alright, so let me rinse these and we'll be right back. Alright, we got the greens all rinsed and uh, the next thing I'm going to add is going to be carrots. Now this is two sort of medium sized carrots and I have peeled them. And I'm just gonna cut them a little bit. Just make it a little quicker for the Vitamix to grind it up. Just throw those in, one always escapes. All right, so we got our carrots in. Now the next thing I'm going to add is going to be the bananas. I usually always add two bananas. And these are organic. I'll go ahead and pay the extra to be able to get the organic. First of all, I think they taste better, or at least to me, they definitely taste better. Usually I have them frozen, but I was able to get these the other day. Uh, and so I decided to leave them out. But they work just as well frozen. All right, so there's the bananas. Now, the reason I'm doing a video on this is because we're doing things a little bit different now. And I wanted to show you all this. So, I'm going to add two tablespoons of the organic coconut oil. Now, the oil really is a way of getting energy too, so, so I'm just going to guess at that and say that's about two tablespoons. I'm just going to put that right in there, a little more. Now, of course, this uh, coconut oil will melt at a pretty low temperature, really. I mean, in the summertime, if it was like, I don't know, 80 degrees in here, this would part of, partial, of it, partial uh, part of it up on the top would be actually liquid. All right, so now we're going to also add some oatmeal cream of wheat mixture if I can find it. So hold on, I think it's in the microwave. All right, so this is a big blob of peanut butter, um, excuse me, not peanut butter, uh, oatmeal and uh, that's whole grain oatmeal and whole grain cream of wheat. That's just to give us at least some kind of a uh, whole grain. Now, I cook this all together in one big pot and just use a big spoon and put it on blobs on a cookie sheet and freeze it. I do that for the convenience of it. All right, so now we're going to add some peanut butter. And I've just used the Jif All Natural. I have used just plain unsalted peanuts before and that kind of thing. So that's a pretty big blob there, okay? Remember, we're making 64 ounces. All right, so the uh, last thing I'm going to add is going to be strawberries. And this is probably 
well, it's not the last thing I'm going to add, but the last main thing. This is probably two and a half cups of frozen strawberries. So let me get a paper towel and get my hands cleaned off. We'll be right back. All right, so here's what's different. I've started adding a packet of the uh, gelatin, the Knott's gelatin. Now, each pack is considered four servings. So I dump a whole pack in. I've got, I'm going to actually have more than 64 ounces of smoothie here. Then that would be a serving each. So four servings. All right, now we're going to have to grind this up a little bit before I put the strawberries in. So I'm going to add some water. I'll have to add more water later. But, all right, we're going to grind it up, and I'm going to be right back. All right, we've got that all ground up. Now we're going to add the strawberries. Now I'm going to add just a teeny bit more water. So I probably have, let's see, here's the mark for 64 ounces. So it's probably about four ounces above that, that mark. So now we're going to grind this up. Here we go. because I've got it very full. Now I am completely out of the uh, dates that I usually use, so we're going to sweeten this with honey. And probably it's going to take about three tablespoons. I'm just going to put it in the top up here. So y'all can see I took that little lid off. So about three tablespoons because these strawberries now are going to be very, very sour. That ought to do it. Then we're going to grind it up just a little bit more and we're going to be ready to put it in the bags. Takes. I'm going to move you all over and show you how I put it in the bags. Alright, so I've got my bags labeled strawberry peanut butter. Usually I don't even label them. I can tell by the color of them pretty much what's in them. So now, what I try to do is divide it out equally between the two bags. Just dump it in. to seal up this bag, try to get most of the air out of it, I'm leaving one side open just a little bit, and getting that air mashed out right at the corner. Like that. Now I put them on a sheet in order, we've got a dog in here lapping up water, just thought I'd tell you what that sound was. So I put them on a, a sheet like this because I don't want a bag to come open in the freezer. And that has not happened yet, but I want to make sure it doesn't happen because then I would have to clean out my freezer. All right, so we're going to dump the balance of it in another bag. out and leave 
leave it open at the corner so I can press that air out. Like that. Alright, so that's going to be two days of smoothies. Now we're going to make two more days, so we'll be back when I get all that stuff out and ready to go. We'll be back. All right, we are back for the uh, second uh, bunch on the smoothies. We're going to make two more. This is going to be about probably the same as the other, about 68 ounces. This time, I'm adding kale. Now, the kale was not pre-washed or anything, so when I get that home from the grocery store, I have to wash it. Now, uh, you can use any type green that suits your fancy, any type. And I have used everything from collards to broccoli stalks. I promise you, I have. And uh, of course, the broccoli stalks are very nutritious too, but we usually don't cook those, especially if you get a fresh one and you usually end up cutting a lot of it off. So again, we're using kale, and I'm making sure I use all the stems too. Now, this time of year, which is the fall of the year, or almost fall, I guess, um, you can usually get uh, plenty of greens. But in a lot of places, you can get all kinds of greens all year long. Now, I have used collards also before, but here's the thing. When you use a strong-tasting green, you want to use oranges. So. This is what I do. I always use at least two when I have strong tasting greens. So this is, uh, a, it, ca it came from uh, uh, South America, and I think it's kin to the blood oranges because see how orange it is? Yeah, I think this is probably a hybrid. So uh, we're using two of these. And what I do is go ahead and just slice them. Now they are uh, navel oranges, so there are no seeds. But slicing them like that, every once in a while you do find a seed. But I just go ahead and slice them just to be sure. And again, I always use two oranges with strong tasting greens. Sometimes I use three. So that's the oranges. And this time, we're just using plain oatmeal because I don't have any more cream of wheat. So I'll put that in. I hand wiped off here. And instead of using carrots, this time I'm using sweet potatoes. Now these sweet potatoes were actually fixed in the Instant Pot with a little bit of water down at the bottom. So they weren't really cooked in water and I simply peeled them and uh, cut them sort of in half or in thirds and put them down in uh, muffin tins and froze them. Now I thawed these out in the microwave. And we did have these uh, one other time uh, with a meal here a week or so ago. Alright, and so I'm going to go ahead and use my, the virgin coconut oil again. And by the way, you can't really uh, taste that, but it's giving you that extra good fat. So that's about two tablespoons in there of the coconut oil. And so we're going to go ahead and do our bananas. And again, I'm using two organic bananas. Yeah, I do like the organic much better, just because they have a much, much better banana taste, or at least they do to me. I don't know what y'all's opinion. Have y'all tried the organic bananas? I just think they're really good. They even smell stronger. All right, so we've got the greens in there and a lot of the stuff in there. So now I'm going to grind this up, get some water in there. And of course, y'all, you can certainly make uh, smoothies in a blender. I did it until we got the Vitamix. So I'm going to grind 
grind this up a little bit just to get it to go down some in this little body mix container. gelatin I'm putting in one packet like that which on the uh, package says is four servings so I'm going to go ahead and put that in just grind it up a second with that in there For the protein this time, I'm using a cup of cooked chickpeas. Now, I cook these, of course, in the uh, Instant Pot, and I freeze them in a little freezer bag. These were actually cooked back, I think, July, 1st of July. Uh, and I use a cup of these instead of peanut butter. It adds quite a bit of protein. So I'm going to put those in. They are still frozen. I'm also going to use mango this time. That's a little over a cup. And I've got about three little slices of ginger. And this is fresh ginger. And I buy the ginger. I, I try to get a big ginger root. And I buy it about once every two months. Peel it and slice it. Kind of roll it in sugar and put it in a, a little Ziploc bag and freeze it. All right, and the other thing we're going to add is pineapple chunks. Now, these are fresh frozen pineapple chunks, and everything in the smoothie is going to taste like pineapple, y'all. There's no way to get around it. If you put even a little bit of pineapple in your smoothie, the whole thing's going to taste like pineapple. So, so we're putting that in, and that's going to pretty well fill everything up. Now, uh, the chickpeas, of course, are still frozen, so is the mango, and so is the pineapple. So I'm going to cut this off and grind this all up, and we'll be back. All right, so I've got my uh, little uh, gallon bags ready, and I've just labeled these mango, pineapple, sweet potato, and chickpeas, and I certainly know that it's mainly going to taste like pineapple which is fine. And again, we've got about 68 ounces here. So I'm going to dump half of it in one bag. And the other half in another bag. Let's see if I can get all that out of there again. So now, I'm going to lay this down and get the air out of it as much as possible. So there's one. Now we're going to do the other one. most of the air out. All right, so these are ready to go in the freezer. And again, I put them in these pans, which is really the only thing I use these pans for uh, because they will not fit in my oven. Uh, I do this in case any bag might come open in my freezer. Now, when we're ready to have a smoothie, of course, I take them out of the freezer as soon as I get up in the morning. This is a container that a uh, salad came in, the large container. And I just fill this up with, with really hot water, stand the bag down in it, and less than 20 minutes it's ready. I usually come in and push it down a little more once one end of it's thawed out. Now, if you're working, let me talk to y'all a minute, hold on. 
So if you're working and have to be at work, or of course in the morning, what you can do is make these ahead, you know, spend maybe two hours on Saturday or Sunday afternoon or whenever, and make up enough smoothies for eight days. And if you've got a body mix, of course you can, you're gonna have 68 ounces. And uh, go ahead and freeze them. If you're a single person, I'd put them in a quart bag. Of course, if you're a single person, what well, you could make enough for almost two weeks, yeah. And just take them out in the morning. As soon as you get up, put them down in a little bowl or a, a container of hot water. By the time you get through with your shower, you're through shaving or whatever, they're going to be ready. I mean, this is faster than eating a Danish and drinking a cup of coffee. It really is. So uh, let me think if there was anything else. Oh, so the two things that I'm doing different, there's a fly in my kitchen, okay? Uh, the, the, uh, well, the main thing I'm doing different is I'm adding the Knox gelatin, and I'm adding one pack for 64 ounces or 68 ounces, really. And uh, we're still going to be having jello this and jello that, but uh, the jello has definitely uh, helped my knee, major helped it. And uh, I went for it, did a little test on it, so I went without any kind of jello for four days. And on the morning of the fourth day, my knee was hurting. So uh, we are back on it now. My knee's completely fine now, no problem. But we're just going to do the gelatin now. It works on your fingernails too. And I don't like long fingernails, y'all, but I can tell you they're a lot tougher than they were before because that ring finger on both hands is the one that would always crack or split or somehow or other. And, uh, or I'd get a little hangnail on it. None of that happens anymore. So if you want nice fingernails, you need to do this probably every day. And uh, again, a, one package of it is enough for four servings. So if I was just, if I was just doing it for myself, I'd just do a fourth of the pack. All right, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Uh, now I, I will add that this morning, I had to, uh, I had run out of smoothies, of course. So I had to fix a smoothie. So I always fix two, enough for four servings, really. But for for the two of us, and so uh, I had one packet that I froze. So that means I've got five in the freezer after I put these in. And, and I do them this way. So once they're frozen, they, you know, I mean, they'll freeze solid. I just stack them up and they don't take up hardly any room in the freezer when you just stack them up on each other. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time. I hope y'all will try this. And uh, I've got, uh, let's see, one of the playlists, I think there's 212 videos all just on smoothies, but they're actually more uh, on my channel than the 212. I don't even know how many, but uh, I was recording them a lot when I was trying to influence y'all to, to drink the green smoothies. Makes a difference. All right, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.